the show for real estate entrepreneurs. You live up in the San Francisco area and you're coming to meetup events like in LA and Orange County. All over the country. And like, I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about tips for finding deals mm -hmm. and tips for networking and leveling up in networking. Leveling up in networking I'll cover first. Um, that to me is just being willing to buy a plane ticket, honestly. Um, you can shack up with a buddy at a hotel if you want, bring your partners with you. If your partner is your spouse, bring your spouse, um, but get involved and don't be scared to buy a $300 plane ticket. If you're gonna be a multifamily investor or single family investor, whatever it is, whatever your niche is, get in there and just, you can't sit back at home and get stuff done. So you need to be out there, you need to be present. I don't care if your shirt says, you know, a multifamily investor on it, whatever it is, whatever's mm -hmm. your thing, you have to be known and you have to be willing to go out there again and, and do what others are not willing to do. Because people who go to some of these conferences and stuff, 95% of them are gonna go back home and forget about it because they have lives, they have stuff going on. So you gotta be that 5% that's gonna go out there. And I think kind of inherently in us, in the military community is like, we're not sitting back. Like if we want something, we know how to get it. We're structured, we're disciplined and we're gonna make it happen. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, you know, I, I don't know, maybe I'm speaking for myself there, but you, if, if you want it, you got to go get it. I love the idea of going out and getting yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And how do you approach people at these events or what's kind of like, not your pitch, but yeah. your advice for people looking to connect in well, terms of strategies? So I'm pretty, I'm pretty bold um, with just approaching people, you know, with a smile on their face and, and shaking their hand and, you know, handing them a business card or saying, how you doing? And here's a, a little, little tip. Ask people about themselves. Um, everyone on the planet inherently wants to talk about themselves. I do too, right? You do. Everybody just wants to like, ask me a question about myself, right? Right. So go up to somebody and say, what's your business? Like, what are you looking for? Why are you here? Right. right. Go, go everywhere. And uh, with an intent, when, when you want to talk to somebody, ask them about them, their, their lives, and then they'll ask eventually about your life exactly. as well. And then you, you can start to be known. It's so. a great tip. Yeah. And, you know, just conversations around work, family, yeah. vacations, those spark other dialogues. You just got to kind of like lead with something soft, get the conversation started, and Absolutely. then see where it goes. Because to his point, at a lot of these events, you don't know who the guy in the hoodie is in the no. corner. And a lot of times those are some of the heaviest hitters. So yep. it's good to kind of press palms with everybody and make those connections. There could be a guy in the audience or gal in the audience that wearing sweatpants. They could own 3,000 doors. Mm -hmm. You don't know because if I own 3,000 doors, maybe I'm going to an event in sweatpants too, <laughs> right. you know, whatever my yeah. thing is. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's just important to, to take everybody seriously, see what they're doing and, and feel out the conversation. But so, you know, be bold, I guess is, is what I'm saying. You have to be, again, willing to go out there and just put yourself out and see what happens. I love it. And mistakes You're really just going out and grabbing the bull by the horns. You're just yeah. making it happen. Yeah. You're finding the big meetups in your area and your search. area could be a one hour flight yeah. if it needs to yeah. be. That's a and Google you're willing away. to go Anybody do that. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do that. And you don't need to be, you don't need to be perfect. You, you can be, you can make mistakes and, and tell people that you're a beginner mm -hmm. and then kind of some of the pressure comes off. You don't know exactly how, you don't have to know how to talk to a broker the first time you talk, a multifamily broker. Mm -hmm. um, I certainly didn't. And you asked this question earlier, how do you find deals? Um, that's one of the best ways to do it. Even if you're just beginning, start calling people. Um, you don't need to call that that uh, you know, that broker who's selling skyscrapers, maybe, but find maybe somebody who's younger and maybe looks a little bit more ambitious and is willing to meet for for coffee. Yeah. Uh, refine your message and then just follow up. If you follow up with these brokers um, and you're the person that they always go, well, I haven't done a deal with Eric yet, but he's always answering my automated email. He's always telling me, well, that one doesn't meet my criteria, but remember my criteria is this, mm -hmm. every single week you're the one following up, he's eventually gonna send you a pocket listing. I think you just gave a really good piece of advice right there and it kind of was a little under the radar. You said you respond to all of their messages, even their auto responders, but not only that, hey, this doesn't quite meet my criteria, but then you're saying, here's what my criteria exactly. is, and, and, and you're reminding them of the exact type of deal exactly. you're looking for. So now they're gonna just every time yeah. see this type of deal, Absolutely. Eric, this type of deal, Eric, this yep. type of deal, Eric. And then when this type of deal comes they're along, go, 
Eric. There, it's just exactly. gonna, it's gonna go straight to Eric. And for people who are starting, it does another thing too. Um, it will it will make it so your message is being refined in your head. If you're, mm -hmm. it's the same as if you're writing writing down your goals every day, right? The more you write it out, the more you type it out, the more you email it to people, the more it's ingrained in your head. So you're gonna get out there and, and just you're gonna know exactly what you want, and you're gonna figure out how to get it just through kind of you know absorbing that constantly. So it's repetition, it's repetition exercise also. Yeah. And I think that networking and and closing the loop on all that with the follow-up is probably a big part of your success. Like you don't go from two single family homes to a few hundred doors in two years without going out and making those connections yeah. and meeting the key players in whatever market you're interested in. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's it is all about networking, and and that can't be overstated, really. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be sitting here today with you if I wasn't willing to just say, hey, let's you know, yeah. grab lunch or something. Exactly. You know? so, exactly. Yeah. To listen to this full Founders Club interview, go to foundersclub.tv.